Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Leo DeTurtle and today I'm just going to be showing you my very first Minecraft world. I thought it'd be just very cool to show you this video. So I'm just going to go through everything I've done in this world. It's not that big, so don't worry, it's not going to be like super long. But anyways, I basically, when I first opened this world, I was, um, I came in and I saw this village. I'm like, hmm, what should I do with this? So I'm like, let's flood it. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, I did all of this in creative because I like creative. I don't really like survival that much compared to creative. I think creative is pretty, pretty cool. So anyways, and then, uh, this is an attempted build that I never, I never really got to finish. I, yeah. Uh, if we come over here, we can see one of my very, one of my, probably my best build in Minecraft. Might be really, I mean, I'm not that great a builder, so. This is actually my grandma's house, believe it or not. I got iron golems protecting it. <laughs> and I come down here. It's not actually not the whole thing because she doesn't have this, but you come in here. This is trying to just I'm just I was just trying to replicate my um grandparents' house, so yeah. You come in here, there's a toilet. And we have some sort of seating area because I I was fairly new to Minecraft at this time, so yeah, don't judge on my crappy builds. Uh, this is the office, attempted office anyways. Actually, should be a window there. I should change that. Yeah, there should be a window there. Oh well. Um, come into here, we come into the lounge room. And we have the big screen TV. And the kitchen area. And it was a little bit small, I think my scale was wrong. We have a cookbook. AKA crafting table. <laughs> and then if we come through... Oh, from through here we have just like the entrance way this is the this is the garage believe it or not even though there's a bed here don't ask and then we come over here and if we come outside we come into the um patio area into the pool so this is just a um teasing area that you can walk on the table <laughs> maybe not uh there's just like like fencing we come down here uh, we have our pool. In real life, this actually goes lengthways, but when I like started it, I didn't clear it out long enough, so you know. So just come for a swim here. We have a little pond. Should be some fish in there actually. Uh, and if we come down here, this is just a little. This is gonna be like a secret passageway. I mean, it's not that secret, but. Anyways, we'll come back up here for a sec. And if we come up here again, we come through here, and out here is the backyard. So, uh, yeah, that's the bins. Um, come over here, there's another gate here. Uh, in real life, there should be probably another backyard out there, which I should extend, but, you know. I thought it pretty good. Anyways, uh, if we come out here, I've, this isn't real life, and there used to be animals in here, but I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> they just suddenly disappeared. And, yeah, that's this house. Oh, and if we, well, I should actually show you the entrance way. Because I had zombies getting in, and I'm like, no, no zombies allowed. So I came in here and I'm like, I'm like, where is the, <laughs> where is the door handle? I have no idea. But if we come down here and if we come in here, it's only one entrance. We come into here. Um, we come down here. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. And then this is another house that I built. I found this on the net. And I'm like, hmm, 
This looks pretty cool. I'll build it. <laughs> so I kind of just guessed what was in here. And TV area. Uh, study. Toilet. And washing things. It's the toilet. <laughs> Not sure if I want to live in that toilet though. Study again. Come in here. It's a kitchen, dining room. Another living room. And we come out here. We have the backyard. Pretty nice. Pretty nice backyard. And we come in here. We go upstairs. Oh, that's what I've, I've got to show you the upstairs of the of that of the other house. Um, we come in here. Double bed or triple bed, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that was the that's the uh like wardrobe type thing. We have a single bedroom and we have a toilet in the bathroom. We have a, another toilet. Actually that's the bathroom. That's the bathroom and that's the toilet. And then if we come back downstairs, we come out the main doorway again. I'll go back and show you the upstairs of the other house. Okay here we are guys. Um, This is this was this started off as an experiment, but I thought it looked really cool, so I kept it. And it's the what's it, what do I call it? The House of Hell. We walked in here, and it just has fire and some cool stuff. Glowstone, Nether. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now this is my Nether fortress. Uh, I did not design this at all. I copied this off a YouTube video uh, back in the day back in the day like two, eight, two years ago so basically this is the nether fortress we come down here uh, we have a nether portal that's my nether portal and if we come back upstairs we should have a lookout or a crafting table thing we have a lookout here and we come upstairs again we have a potion making room another lookout and I'm not going to go up the stairs again. But if we come up the stairs again, we were we will come to this little area. And I think there is something down the stairs here. Oh yeah, there's like another. Oh wait, no, it's not. Never mind. Uh yeah. So we have another lookout area, just like a little chill area for anything else. Oh, and the main and the point of uh, this here is that only you can get in and out. So delete. No mobs can get in and out if they, because they will, they won't jump in the lava, obviously. So basically, when you're, uh, just say there's like a um, a skeleton or zombie, you can shoot them from here or probably attack. Yeah. So moving on to the next house. Okay, this house, guys. Um, I also copied off a YouTube video, the same one as that one, actually. I will. I. Don't, the, the YouTube channel doesn't exist anymore so I can't give you the link but basically these things here traps all mobs so like there's holes in the ground and they fall in so if I come back up here for a second so what is that the mobs might just come in and go Ooh, oops and when they and then you can come down here and Bow, bow, bow until they die and get them stuff. But if we come in, oh, there's also a walking up here so you can just kill them off from up here. If we come inside the house, it's pretty basic, basic design. It's just, yeah, we come down here. This is the uh, bedrooms. Yep, there's the bedrooms, and then you've come out here. Here's the uh, thing again. So, yeah, moving on to the next house. Okay guys, so around the around the place I have built these uh, dungeon things that I just, that way I know where the dungeon is. And if we come down here, I put a uh, ladder down here, so, so here we are guys, there's the, uh, this was a dungeon, I think I accidentally destroyed the spawner once, but <laughs> yeah. So moving on to my best met my best build so far that I really enjoy even though I didn't 
completely build it. It isn't completely my idea, but still, still, here it is, the mob grinder. Okay, so basically how this works, I will show you a quick demo. So basically guys, you, so it's all dark in here, so the mobs spawn in here and then they wander their way over unsuspectingly into the water and they get drifted down into here and whoa and then this basically stops so they basically uh, I'll give you a quick demo I'll just change it back to I had it on piece so I'll change it to easy and I'll grab a uh, I'll go spawn a skeleton spawn a skeleton here and I'll give you a quick demonstration. So it basically gets stuck, stuck in here and it dies. And then loot comes down through there, all the way down there, and it drops. So I'll just spawn another one for you. There it goes, and it's dead. And if we come back over there, which I'll see you in a minute. So down here guys we have our mob we have our mobs uh, loot as you can call it and yeah so that's the uh, mob grinder One other thing to note guys is that this map or seed or whatever you want to call it has an immense amount of cave systems and underground ravines and stuff like that. This is only one. I've found several. Like not even joking. There are so many ravines. It's not even funny. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I will leave you with the sunrise. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys and good Bye.